Hello, buddies. Welcome back. It's Aunt Sophie, and today I have the new Xiaomi Poco M5s, and we're gonna go ahead and set it up and go through the first steps together. So the first step is to select your language, and it's set to German right now, but we're gonna select English, and then you can click here. And next step is to choose our region. We are in Germany, that is set already, so we keep it as it is. Choose keyboard, so we have the Gboard and the Google Voice typing. So we're gonna go with the Gboard that is already set and go to the next site. Terms and conditions, user agreement, POCO launcher user agreement, privacy policy and POCO launcher privacy policy. So you have a lot of information about the different things if you click on them. So you don't really have any other option than to click on I've read and agree to the user agreement and privacy policy. Then we click on it and continue. Checking for a SIM card, um, insert a SIM card. We have a separate video for that. So we're gonna skip this step right here. Connect to network. You wanna connect to a network. So we're gonna put in our password. So I put in our password right now. If you click on that little eye, it will show you your password. And then we click on connect. And now you see it's connected. Then we go to the next part. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. This is taking forever. We're here for about a minute or two now. Let's see how much longer it takes. Next slide, just a few minutes. Ah, okay, copy apps and data. Um, so we can choose to transfer um, data from our old phone to the new phone. Um, so if you want to do that, you can click on next and then you have to get a cable, um, your old device and then and the phone will tell you what to do to transfer the data from your old device to your new device. Um, but sometimes it's nice to just have a fresh start again um, with no old data. Um, and also we don't have another device we want to copy data from so we say don't copy sign in with your google account um, so you need your google account for the play store and other things if you don't have a google account you can create one um, we have one so i'm gonna put in my email now and then we go to the next step and uh, that's probably the password so we need to enter our password now same here, if you click on show password, it will show you your password so you can check if you put it in right. Then we click on next and here we come to the Google Terms of Service. Um, we publish the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services. By clicking I agree, you agree to these terms. You're also agreeing to the Google Pay Terms of Service to enable discovery and management of apps. So um, you pretty much don't have any other option than say I agree or don't add this account now, but then you don't have a Google account. If you want to add a Google account, you need to agree to these terms. And now we have some Google services. Um, so back up to Google Drive, use location, allow scanning and send usage and diagnostic data. Um, you can disable that and then use location and allow scanning. Um, if use location is enabled, you can disable and enable allow scanning by itself. Um, if use location is disabled, then you don't have the option to enable allow scanning. Um, that's up to you. Allow scanning is just like that your phone is looking for any Wi-Fi around you and use location. Um, well, it will scan your location and then um, it, that's pretty useful if you use like Google Maps a lot or something. Um, so up to you if you enable or disable then and if you customize that, you just click on accept. Now we can choose our search engine and we can go with Google or Ecosia or Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, whatever. Um, if you click on these little arrows, it will tell you what this 
search engine does. So we go with good old Google, I think, say next, and then set a password. We have a separate video for that as well. So we're gonna say skip. And now we come to continue setup. Keep going to get your device fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later. Um, so we're pretty much set up for now. We went through the first steps um, so we can leave and get a reminder, but you can totally um, continue your setup. I'll say leave and get a reminder. Then we come to additional settings. I thought we're now getting to our home screen, but additional settings, location, send usage and diagnostic data, automatic system updates, personalized ads, wallpaper. So I have a few more settings you can enable and disable. Um, if you customized it, you just click on the next arrow. Then this pops up, reimagine lock screen, wallpaper, carousel, deliver stunning images and exciting stories to your lock screen daily. Um, no, I don't want that. Okay, now it says set up complete. You're ready to rock. Thank you. And now we click on this little arrow and it says loading apps. So now we're on our home screen. It took a little moment to get here, um, but you now have well, your phone here um, and you can now download apps, customize it further. So these are the first steps on your Poco M5S. I hope you liked it. Hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.